Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop, and today I want to show you how I made this outdoor curtain. So let's get started. First, there are a few things you're going to need. You're going to need two shower curtains, a shower curtain rod, some shower hooks, which I decided to go for the cheap plastic kind because it's far more weatherproof, and some rope. The first step is to hang your curtain rod. You're gonna extend your curtain rod as wide as you need it, and then you're gonna hang it with your string. It's so easy, just hang it from whatever you have. My roof is not even, so on one side the string is really short, and the other side the string is pretty long, and that evens out the bar. The next step is you're gonna cut your two plastic shower curtains into thirds. Shower curtains each have 12 holes in them, so you're going to cut so that each section has four holes. Now you could use a fabric curtain instead of this plastic shower curtain. There were a couple reasons why I decided not to though. In the past, I've used a drop cloth for this kind of project, and to be honest, it got really dirty and really moldy really fast, so it takes a lot of extra care to have a fabric cloth. The other reason that I decided not to go with fabric was that it's easier to cut. You don't have to sew. The third step is to hang your shower curtains. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and put your hooks on the rod, and then you're gonna hang up three of your pieces. Now you're only gonna use five of your pieces in total. So hang up three of them, and then on the back, hang your other two pieces, and you're gonna have some overlap. So two hooks will have one shower curtain, Two hooks will have this side and this side, and then the next two hooks, again, will have the other sides. I hope that makes sense. If not, just spread it out evenly. You guys are pretty smart. You'll figure it out. Step number four is to tie up your shower curtain pieces. So each piece is going to get a little piece of rope tied around it. And what I did was have the front three pieces tied up higher and then the back two pieces tied up lower. This kind of kept things from getting too bunchy and it added more interest to the curtain. And finally, the last thing I did, which you don't have to do, but I added a little flower in each of the three front pieces. This brought in some color and kind of lessened the cheap plastic white look. And this is what it looks like in the end, guys. I absolutely love this. Now, I will say that if you're going to have a windy day, do hook all the pieces together and tie them together, tie them around a post. For me, I just wrap them around the post on the left-hand side and that keeps them from kind of blowing all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you enjoy decor DIYs and I will talk to you next time. Bye. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. In the meantime, check these out and follow me across social media.